Okay guys, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everyone. So in this video, I would like to discuss about uh, subtopic 1.4, three diagrams. The objective for this uh, subtopic is I want everybody must know how to solve counting problems by using three diagrams. Okay, so let's start with the introduction first. Counting problems can also be solved by using a three diagram technique. The elements contained in three diagram are illustrated as below. So in a three diagram, so we have three important elements. The first one is a root and then we have a branch and also we have a leaf where each element have their own responsibilities. Okay, so for a branch, okay, we use branch to represent the each possible choice while leaf are used to represent the possible outcome which are the endpoints of the branches and not having another branch. Okay, for better understanding, let's try uh, some examples. Let's start with the example number one. Okay, how many big strings of length 3 do not have two consecutive ones? Okay, so let's recall what is a big string. Okay, what is a big string? Okay, big string is a number that only 0 and also 1. So, one, so now we are going to construct okay, um, a big string that length 3. 1, 2, 3. Where each place, okay, is where the 0 or 1. Okay, for the first place, 0 or 1. Second place, 0 or 1. And the third place, 0 or 1. Okay, and the condition uh, stated to us that how many bit strings of length 3 that do not have two consecutive ones. Okay, so uh, to solve for this problem, it's easy for us to solve by using three diagram. Okay, so now let's construct our three diagram. So the first one, okay, so this is the first stage, 0 or 1. Okay, so this is for the first stage. Second stage, okay, we have 0 or 1 also. Okay, second stage, 0, 1. This one also 0, 1. Okay, and for the third stage also, we have 0, 1. So this one, 0, 1. This one, 0, 1. This one also 0, 1. And the last one is 0, 1. Okay, so from the three diagram, let us list out uh, our outcomes. Okay, so we have uh, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and also 1, 1, 1. Okay, so from the three diagram, we have eight possible answers. Okay, but uh, these answers are not our final answer. Okay, based on our question, we need to find uh, the big string that does not have two consecutive one. Okay, so the big string does not have co uh, two consecutive one. That means it's the first one, this one. Okay, and then this also no consecutive one. This one also. And then we have this one and also this one. Okay, so total possible answer that uh, that does not have two consecutive one is five. Okay, so now let's try for example number two. So a playoff between two teams consists of a most five games. The first team that wins three games wins the playoff. So in how many different ways can the playoff occur? So this is a match between two teams and they have five games. Okay. And um, when uh, the first team that get uh, three wins, the game automatic uh, stop. So now we are going to find how many different ways can the playoff occur. Alright. So by using a three diagram. Okay. So firstly, I will need, uh, I will note it. Okay. Win as a W while lose as a L. Okay, since um, there are five stages, okay, because we have, uh, we have five games, that means that we have five stages, so the three diagram will be so big. So uh, I will um, 
uh, start with the uh, one diagram first and then continue with the other diagram. Okay, so we start with the fir, uh, wind first. Okay, so this is for wind. Okay, and then we have blue wind and then this. Okay, this is for the second game. Okay, and then for the third game. Okay, so we have wind and then lose. Okay, this one also we have wind and then also lose. Okay, so from here we can see we have the first three wind. So automatic the first game, uh, the game will stop. So this will be number one. And then we will lose. Okay, so we need to continue here. So we continue. So we will have here win and then lose. Okay, so then we see again. So we will have win, win, lose, win. So three uh, win, winning game. So this is for number two. Okay. So and then we have win, win, lose, lose. Okay, so we can um, continue again. So we will have here um win and then lose okay and then we check again so we have win win lose lose and then win okay that's mean we have this is for number three okay but win win lose 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 okay that's mean okay uh the first team lose three times that's mean the other team win three times okay so this will be our number four Okay. So now we check to the other uh this one. So win lose win. Okay, so we continue win lose. So win win win. Okay, so three wins. Okay, so this is for number five. Okay, win lose win lose. Okay, so we can continue as a win lose. So and then check again. Win lose win lose win. So win three times. So this is for number six. Okay, and then win, lose, win, lose, lose. That's mean the other teams, okay, win three times. So, this is for number seven. Okay. Now, for this one, win, lose, lose. Okay, that's mean win, lose. Okay, so this one, okay, we lose three times. Okay, that's mean, um, no, no. Okay, so this one, lose. Then we have win, lose here. Win, lose. So, win, lose, lose, win, win. So, win three times. So, this is number eight. And then, win, lose, lose, win, lose. Okay. So, lose three times. That's mean, um, win, uh, the other team win for three times. So, this is for number nine. Okay. And then, lose, lose, win, lose, lose, lose. Okay. That's mean, uh, lose three times. That's mean, the other team win three times. So, this is for number ten. Okay, so this is for the first one. Okay, and then we continue with the, um, what we call, um, loose. Okay, so I hope you can continue for the loose part. And then, uh, count how many possible different ways can the play of occur. And I hope you can, uh, draw your tree diagram nicely. Okay, better than me. Okay, so from here, I just want to give you the final answer. The final answer, okay, in how many different ways can the playoff occur is 20. Okay, so I hope everybody can get the answer 20. Alright, so now let's try for the example number 3. Suppose the pyjamas come in 4 different sizes, which are S, M, L and XL. Each size come in three different colors, which are blue, red, and also magenta. Except for XL size, which come only in blue color. So, how many different pyjamas does the boutique owner have to restock to have at least one of each size and color of the pyjamas? So, this is a very simple. Okay, so we have uh, four sizes here. S, M, L, and X, L. So, S, M, L, and X, L. Okay, and for each size, have three different colors. So, for S, M, L, we have blue, red, and also magenta. The same goes to for the M size, we have blue, red, and also magenta. How about the size L? Also the same, blue, red, and also magenta. But for XL, we just have one color only, that is blue. Okay, 
So from the tree diagram, so how many different pyjamas does the boutique owner have to so at least one of each size? Okay, for S, so we have three outcomes. For M, so we have three outcome. For L, we have three outcome. And for XL, we have one outcome only. So the total, okay, that the boutique owner have to restock at least one of its size is three plus three plus three plus one is equal to ten. So I hope everybody can understand all my explanation about subtopic 1.4 tree diagram. So all the best. So thank you guys. Assalamualaikum.